Hello everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the Ruger Wrangler. This is one of Ruger's new offerings for 2019. It's got everybody pretty excited. This is a six shot single action revolver chambered in 22 long rifle. Comes with black synthetic grips and a Cerakote finish. This is actually in the silver Cerakote. They offer this gun in the burnt bronze and a black as well. Uh, it's got a blade front sight and the integrated back sight. Uh, the weight of the gun is 30 ounces. It does have a cold hammer forged barrel and a aluminum receiver frame. I suggested retail for this gun is 249 I actually picked this one up for around 187 That's sort of the real world price of this gun. After tax and transfer, uh, I had around $223 in the gun. Uh, out of the box, this gun had a four pound, 12 ounce trigger, but after doing the poor man's trigger job, uh, which you can see on uh, gunblast.com, it's got a good uh, article about doing the poor man's trigger job. I'll put a link in the description for anybody interested in that. It got the weight of the trigger down to two pounds and eight ounces, but I've had this gun for a couple months and after shooting many rounds through it, uh, it's actually down to a one pound, 15.5 ounce trigger. So essentially a two pound trigger, which is a pretty good trigger for a gun in this price range. This is Ruger's uh, attempt to make a economical version of their already popular single six model. Ruger's been making single action revolvers for many years and uh, all of them have thought of in pretty high regard. Bearcat, single six, uh, Black Hawk and Super Black Hawk. Uh, some of the differences in this and the single six that's most compared to um, this gun actually it weighs 30 ounces single six weighs 33 ounces uh, with a comparable length barrel but the single six does have a metal frame whereas this has an aluminum frame which is pretty insignificant drop in weight just three ounces for that difference uh, the single six does have an adjustable rear sight where this has the integrated rear sight and the price is the biggest difference the Ruger single six most offerings in the single six are around six hundred dollars plus MSRP with real world prices at 460 about the lowest I could find uh, some of the differences in this as compared to the single six and Burkett is there other 22 offerings this does not come with a 22 magnum cylinder it's 22 long rifle only when you open the loading gate, there is no half cock feature on this gun. The cylinder will actually swivel either way, which is actually, to me, a positive. A lot of traditional shooters may like the half cock feature. This will allow you to swivel either way to, re to unload the gun. It still uses the same ejector rod that any other single action revolver would use. The Logan gate, when I first got it, was a little stiff. It's starting to loosen up some. And because it doesn't have the half cock feature, you can notice this only has three clicks when cocking it. For comparison, I've got an old model Ruger Bear Catch here that has four clicks. which is something you lose when you don't have the half cock feature that a lot of traditionalists might like. As you can see in full motion, the sound of the bear cap versus the sound of the Wrangler. Uh, both of these, along with the single six and other single action revolvers offered by Ruger, uh, strip down the same way. You push in on this and pull this rod out that holds the cylinder in place. And when you open up the Logan gate, the cylinder will file out for cleaning. Very simple to clean, very simple to strip down. It goes back in just as easy. Uh, one difference in the newer revolvers offered by Ruger, such as the Wrangler and the Single Six, is that this does have the transfer bar safety system. So that you can't pack this gun on a loaded cylinder without danger of setting it off. Whereas with the old models, 
this does not have a transfer bar so you have direct contact between the hammer and the firing pin another difference though between the old and the new model is with the old model this gun has a ounce or two less than two pound trigger just naturally straight out of the box without any alterations whereas I had to do the poor man trigger job on this gun all new model uh, Wranglers, single sixes, Burkats tend to have a little harder trigger than the old model and that was mainly for safety but it's an easy fix when you take off these grip panels and uh, do the poor man's trigger job which I will leave a link in the description so you can read the article on how to do that for those that may be new to shooting or new to single action revolvers I'll show you what I mean by a half cock half cock was a traditional way to load uh, old model single action revolvers and even some new models you have your first cock it's actually a safety and then you have your half cock you can see the hammer is not in firing position but you open the loading gate and when it's on half cock that'll allow the cylinder to fro flow freely in the clockwise position and you hear an audible click with each rotation of the cylinder but it will not allow the cylinder to go in the counterclockwise position so you go from safety to half cock to firing and all together you get that traditional single action cocking sound as compared to the new model it does not have the safety cock or the half cock you just simply have the loading gate that you open to the side that allow the cylinder to flow in either direction counterclockwise and clockwise they eliminated the uh, first cock safety because you do now have this transfer bar which won't allow the hammer to make contact with a firing pin when it's in the downward position whereas with the traditional model there's nothing preventing the hammer from hitting the firing pin so this half cock feature locks it just before it gets to the firing pin but I still recommend that you carry the old models on an empty cylinder to prevent accidental discharge we'll take this out to the range and show you what it'll do
thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.